kaibigan na tatawin natin ang uh, dalawang couples na yun at yung isa kasama ang anak nila. They will be siyempre kasama sila sa Global Peace Festival na ginagawa ngayon sa Grino Grandstand. Kaya pagkatapos po nito, sila ay pupunta doon. Pero bago yun, ikakausapan muna natin sila paano sila nagkakilala Yoo-hoo. at na-in love. <laughs> love is in the air mga kaibigan ngayong Wednesday dito sa One Morning. Uh, let's say hi first to Mr. Edgar and his Hisayo Tanate. One morning sa inyo. One morning. And Lito and Mayfen and Ailey. Uh, Gualdahara, one morning sa inyo. One morning. One morning. One morning. Okay, uh, of course, ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon ng intercultural marriages. And alam naman natin, well, to people who don't really know, he's Filipino. Of course, you're Japanese. And you're Filipino. And you are... Taiwanese. Taiwanese. Okay. So, yun na nga. Ang mga love stories nyo. How did you guys meet? Uh, let's start with Edgar. Let's start okay, with Edgar the two of you. Yeah, actually, Give us your love story. We met in uh, Korea, mm-hmm. but uh, before that, we were uh, matched by Reverend Moon. Mm-hmm. And when we decided to accept each other, uh, she's from Japan, I'm from the Philippines. And then we decided to meet in Korea and join the, the 30,000 other couples around the world mm-hmm. from 131 nations wow. to join what we call the International uh, Holy Blessing. Right. Coming from 131 nations, different okay. nationalities married together with the purpose of promoting world peace, world peace through ideal families. Okay. And this was actually six years in the making, your courtship, because of course you have to get used to her culture and she has to get used to your culture. Yes. Uh, 1992, we joined this blessing. Uh-huh. And then uh, just 1998, we married in the Catholic tradition in my hometown. <laughs> wow. Good choice. Bad choice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, dito tayo kay Lito at Pen. Uh, how did you meet Lito and uh, Pen? Uh, the same. We go uh, the same process. We applied and then uh, I was uh, matched to her. And uh, we were uh, matched 1989. And uh, we get uh, married 1991. Wow. So Ailey, how did you meet your parents? No, this is <laughs> <laughs> Ailey, how old are you? Eight years old. So, uh, Aile, you, where do you study here in the Philippines? Uh, Good Shepherd Montessori School. Okay. So, uh, oh, nice. so what's the best thing about uh, about mommy and, and 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 Taiwan and being Taiwanese? And the best thing about daddy being Filipino? The best thing about my mother is that she is beautiful always and she is always nice to me and good. Very good, very good, very good. Well, what's interesting also to ask? Because Daddy, wala pa. Oh, Daddy, okay, okay, okay. And same thing also to my father, because both of them are just the same with their love for me. Oh, see, I love it. That, that's the reason we uh, there's all this cross culture. Right. right, and you are a Catholic, Matt, yes. you are Buddhist, and the nice thing about it is she's actually a mixture of both. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Also, your your. You're both Buddhist and Catholic, right? Yes. That's her answer a while ago. I'm both. Bakit pa? Oh, bakit pa? Ano pa kailan ninyo? So, so, ha, ha, so, when it comes to religion, uh, Edgar and Hisayo, how, how do you reconcile that na Catholic ka uh, and then Hisayo is uh, Protestant, Protestant, right? Yes, Protestant. How, how do you reconcile that? Because in some, well, a lot of families, even Filipino families, eh, they have a hard time. How did you reconcile that? Um, since our marriage is based on the concept of promoting world peace through ideal families, whatever I learned in my religion, Catholicism and uh, Protestantism, we try to practice it in the family by having a better relationship between husband and wife. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, the teachings of different religions should not only be uh, taught by means of words, it should be practiced, most especially in the family. So, dapat mas kaganda yung relationship ng husband and wife if you really uh, embody the teaching of your particular religion. Right. I want to hear Sayo though. Yeah. Yes. I want to, you know, people always say, we love saying, we Filipinos love saying that we're so easy to get along with, we're such happy people, we love praising ourselves, right? Because we love ourselves, we love Filipinos. But <laughs> for you, as a Japanese, what's the hardest thing about marrying a Filipino? Let's say the hardest thing you had to understand or accept in a Filipino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lala, basta, lahat ng kalit, lahat. Go ahead. What's the hardest thing you had to do? Text too much, huh? Text capital. <laughs> Cultural difference is really, really uh, difficult to overcome. Well, that's true. That's true. Okay. Well, she, she, she's 
speechless. She also don't wanna, didn't wanna fight. <laughs> so maybe, maybe. What, what's the, the the biggest uh, struggle that you had coming into it for in your marriage? Yeah, first, of course, it's the language that we have to uh, really learn and try to understand. And the second is uh, uh, the way of thinking. Uh, we like, for example, for Chinese, we think quite advanced. We think about future, even our generation. Uh, but for, for, for my experience, the Filipino, they're really so joyful person. They, they get in joy. Yes, even they, the problem tomorrow, maybe they do not uh, worry about it. They can really joy, enjoy the day now. <laughs> so that's a quite different culture for me that I experience. So you had to, uh, skip, you had to adjust, adjust and he also that. had to adjust. Yes, but I think it's okay because that means we can support each other because the difference. So that makes things better because we have a different way of thinking. Right. And you're, of course, your, your daughter will learn both. To be relaxed and happy, but at the same time to have goals for the future. Beautiful. So you all learned this through, uh, no, no, two, three, Universal Peace Federation, right? And then, sa mga kababayan natin dyan na nanonood, eh, kunyari, gusto niyong um, makapagkasal ng hindi Filipino, or you want to join it, ina-apply, nag-apply po kayo, di ba? Please explain sa ating mga kababayan dyan, paano nag-apply at paano yung proseso, proseso nakakahanap kayo ng partner? Ah, bali, ang proseso niyan, um, mag-aaten ka muna ng seminar ng Universal Peace Federation. This seminar is basically focused on how to establish a good family. And then, uh, if you're interested, then you can uh, fill up the application form. Pero may isang requirements na talagang serious na ano, kailangan i oh, may blood test raw, no? Uh, Merong medical test, kung saan dapat wala kang AIDS, wala kang venereal disease. Uh, and then, we have the sickle cell test and the RH factor. Ito, very important to na mention mo sa akin. Very interesting. Bakit nakapa-importante? Kasi kailangan raw yung dugo nyo ng, mag, mag, ng asawa mo or yung partner mo, eh, Kumpatibol. Uh, Kumpatibol. Kumpatibol. Or else, ang next generation maapektuhan and uh, hindi magiging healthy. So for Mayfen and Lito, how long yung application? Uh, Nag-apply ka ngayon, how long did it take for you to find each other? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> three years. Three years? No, three years to find not from the time you applied to the, the time you, you met her? Uh, I applied uh, about one year. I was a month. So how many uh, did you go through before you decided with Mayfen? <laughs> uh, we go through a series of education. And then, uh, no, how many partners? <laughs> how many partners? How many did you meet? <laughs> oh, you, how many did you meet before you? Only one? Kau talaga? Isa lang, ikaw dami dami. Kasi wala nga, kaya wala akong matandaan. So, in the end, across cultural marriages, you recommend it very much, of course. Of course. Yes. Edgar. And uh, also, cross-cultural marriages will result into children that are much you know, stronger and resistant to diseases, mm -hmm. more handsome and beautiful, like like you. Well, I think you are I am the a product. He's the exception. exception. <laughs> you also of is a product of uh, no cross-cultural. No exception of cross-cultural that doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe Pedro any uh, last words for those who are interested? Yes. Go ahead. Let me finish. Okay, so today is the day for our uh, Global Peace Festival at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So you're welcome to join and let us join together to have this uh, world peace. And we also welcome you if you're interested in how to have this uh, intercultural marriage. Uh, you can inquire us and how to find your Great. best partner. Aili, say hi to your teacher because you're upset today. <laughs> hi, teacher. All right. Hi, Grace. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you very much for joining us in the program. Thank Maraming you. salamat.